Okay, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back once again to Destiny 2 Forsaken. Okay, in this video right here, we're going to be uh, going through this um, this quest line right here. As soon as it pops up here. There it is. Okay. So this one's all about the Awoken Talisman quest. Now, here's how you get this here. First of all, quite obvious here, you need to uh, pretty much just straightforward complete the Destiny 2 Forsaken campaign. Once you do that, you'll have to head on over to the tower, or the traveler, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> the tower is the same thing. Um, more than likely, you'll need to talk to, I'm pretty sure it's both Savala and Ikora Ray. I'm pretty sure the other three blue um, blue crown uh, quest lines right there, they're, they're just for something else there. Uh, that's just to talk to other vendors like the Gambit and everybody else. But more than likely, talk to uh, Savala and Ikora Ray to start. Once you're done everything at the tower, um, you'll need to go back to the Tangled Shore. Um, pretty sure it's either the Spider or Petra Venge. Whoop, whoop, whoops, I'm going to fire one here. Hold on. Let me get right to the safe house here. Then I'll explain the rest of the quest stuff here. There we go. Now I won't get fired upon again here. Okay, so go to the tower, talk to Savala and Ikora. Because they both have four second icons. And then um, you'll proceed on over to the Tangled Shore. Um, I'm pretty sure you need to talk to either a spider and or Petrovenge or both. Because you'll more likely begin the the talisman quest. Now, pretty sure, <coughs> pretty sure after that, you'll need to go to three lost sectors in the Tangled Shore. And I'll show you the locations on all of them right now. Uh, there's one at the Jetsam of Saturn. And I'm pretty sure the Lost Sector is right around there. So there's your first one here. Oh, by the way, it is going to give you three clues. Okay, so the next portion of the quest step will be the three clues to solving the mystery. And again, I'll give you a clue to all three of them. It's, uh, it's associated with the lost sectors that are required to be done. Okay, so that's the first one right here, located at the Jetsam of Saturn. Your second one here, and your second clue, is located right over here. That's right here at Thieves' Landing. And your third and final clue will be located here at the Four Horn Gulch. So there you go. I, I just gave you the locations of all three of them for sure. Now, if, if you're stuck... I highly recommend go to Estorix's uh, channel. He has the full talisman quest step, the full chain. Go check him out. <laughs> he's he's just a hall of famer in my opinion. So once you get those three lost sectors done, you'll need to go back to the spider again, and then your next step is to consume enough darkness. So there's a couple of uh, exhalations here. Um, Pretty sure there's taken to do on the EDZ, or you can do the Lake of Shadows, the Lake of Shadows Strike, because it has taken in there, or Gambit, but as long as it's a taken version, though. But my best recommendation here is on Io. Okay, so there's a couple of locations to do EDZ, um, Lake of Shadows Strike, uh, oh, and Gambit. But my best recommendation is that you need to fast travel to the, to the rupture. And go to this lost sector located right over here. Pretty sure it's called Sanctum of Bones. There's a good amount of taken in there. And uh, you begin a completion of around 16 to 17 percent of the time. It eventually took me a good six runs to do it. And it probably took me eh, around 20 to 30 minutes or so. I don't think it's going to be that long though. So it's definitely a good grind. Once you consume enough darkness and get it to 100 percent. Then you'll need to go back to the Tangled Shore once again. And then go right back over here. So go back to the Spire. And let's see what he has to say. And I'll, I'll do my best to uh, post those quest steps in the description box below in case you're stuck. And again, I, I will look on his channel again just, just to make sure I'm getting the quest steps correct here. All right, let's talk to the spider and see what we have here. Uh, well, ready for fortune and glory in the watchtower? Go on. 
I won't stop you. See, I had a quid pro quo with Queen Mara Soth. Nobody in or out on my watch. But now, take and pour out, scorn flowing. The place is a revolving door, and I'm washing my hands of it. So, you see our awoken friends. You tell them I met the parameters of my commitment 100%. Bon voyage, friend. Oh, and the next time you get the itch to play on the right side of wrong, you know where to find me. Okay, there we go. There's a new milestone being added. And that unlocks the next mission, which is a hum of starlight. And you guys are figuring, yeah, we'll, we'll just end the video right here. No, 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 no. I don't do that. I don't do that. So, oh, this one's 500. So, in order to do this, you need to be at least 500 to do this. I'm at 502. I should be good enough to do that. So, let's go on ahead and quickly fast travel to. The, so, actually, let's track this one first. There we go. So, let's go ahead and fast travel up here. Oh, and by the way, that talisman quest. Um. That is most of the quest steps required to unlock the second and final destination, which is brand new to Destiny 2 for a second, which is called the Dreaming City. And that's eventually where the endgame raid will be called Last Wish. And I know I haven't got a chance to do Spire of Stars, because... I've been super, super busy at work as of late, so I'll try my best to try and get Spire Stars up whenever possible. I know most of you guys are <laughs> already know what to do. <laughs> now, I'll try and get last. Uh, I'll try and get Last Wish um, uh, done as well here, or as best as I can. I don't think I'll be going for Worlds first. I, I may just watch, but who knows? Thankfully, I'm going to be off that day. Okay, let's just get right into the mission right here. A hum of starlight. Let's complete the mission. And, if, and again, if there's any cutscenes, I'm not skipping them. We're just going to get right down to business. Oh, oh no, sorry. Uh, that's that's not it. Um, I completely forgot something here. Um, after the three lost sectors... Um, Petra crossed through that gate alone and asked us to watch her back. That's what we're going to do. Now let's get up there and help our friend. Okay, so before we progress any further, I completely forgot one step here. Um, and it's actually uh, before this mission here. So, after you get the darkness consumed to 100%, you don't need to go to Spider, and you actually have to do a public event. So I completely forgot about that quest step here. You'll need to complete a public event at the Four Horned Gulch. Pretty sure it's called Ether Ritual. So what you need to do is uh, pretty much kill all three of the Chieftains, and then defeat the uh, the mega boss. I think it's uh, I forget the name of it there. De Descendants something, but he's more like an electrical ogre. I forget the name of it there. But you'll need to defeat three of those and the mega boss within the time limit. And uh, there you go. There you're going to be done. You don't necessarily have to go to heroic mode to do that. You can just complete it in a regular public public event at the um, at the Four Horn Gulch, and then you go back to Spider, and then you do this mission. <laughs> there you go. I, I knew I was forgetting something. But yeah, like I said, I'll post those quest steps below 
in the description box. Okay, let's get right to the mission. Okay, now we gotta secure the room. Probably my best advice is to get rid of the ads here as best as we can. one. There's another one right over here. I think this boss fight is relatively simple. And it's just the same thing as the as the Taken Public event on IO. I'm pretty sure there's one on EDZ as well. Yeah, basically just shoot flights if you're doing it as a regular public event. One right down the middle. Oh, I got it. The best thing about this here is that we're sure to solve. Now's our chance. Open the gateway. He's dead, so it's relatively easy, for sure. All right, out of it anyway, and done. It's open. Let's go. All right, venture into the dreamy we'll city. Soon, it's just like going through a wormhole. That's that's so cool. All right, let's see if anything popped up here. Before she went to war, Queen Mara left me with three orders. Protect our people. Hide our secrets. Believe in the plan. I have protected. I have hidden. I have believed. Now I want answers. I want to know what drove Aldrin to madness. I want to kill whatever evil has crept into the Dreaming City. And most of all, I want to see my queen again. I want to know that she lives. So yeah, we got um, we got a nice cinematic cutscene there. That's pretty good. Oh, and we have an achievement: Heart of the Awoken. So we entered the Dreaming City. That's perfect. Okay. 
So we're just going to take a look at the map right here. Okay. So it looks as though the, uh, the Dreaming City is sort of unlocked, but we need to do one more mission. And uh, we're going to do that, um, that mission on the next video. So until then, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for watching this. Um, we will be back with the conclusion of the Broken Talisman exotic quest. Well, it could be an exotic quest line, but it's called the uh, Broken Talisman quest. The conclusion will happen next time. Thank you very much for joining us. See you next time.